Cheers to the good life, sweetie. Cheers. And Bozara and I got slightly tipsier than we imagined. We are fully making use of each second. Hey, look at the guys still outside of Cartier. So at least we're gonna be on the water somewhat. <laughs> the one we wish we were getting on is there. You, look how amazing you look, look at that. Good morning, everyone. Or should I say, bonjour. We are in the south of France. <laughs> Even saying that out loud feels incredibly bougie. I'm with Zara. We are, we landed in Nice last night and I am truly so excited to be here. We've both never been to the south of France. We've only ever been to Paris, which is quite wild considering how close England and France are. So we are here in the south of France for three days as a Zara booked this for my birthday way, way, months and months and months ago. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna have three really relaxing, really calm, beautiful day, calm. <laughs> three days. I was gonna say, calm after midday once rosé is consumed. Something yeah. tells me it will be calm. So gorgeous, honestly. We literally arrived last night super late, so we just put our heads straight in the villa. We're staying in a really nice Airbnb, just around like, the corner of the sea. And yeah, it's gorgeous. So we're just gonna have a walk there now, get our bearings, and get some petit déjeuner. Just breakfast, Zara, so. Look at this beagle. Oh. Beagle or beagle? Oh, beagle. It is, what's the time? 9 a.m.? 8.56. 8.56 in the morning. And look at everyone just in the beach, just enjoying their morning swim. What an absolute joyous thing to do. Meanwhile, in London, <laughs> this is honestly something that everyone's gone for morning runs. I know they say this about like the Mediterranean lifestyle. I get it now. Yeah. I get it why if you live in like France or Italy, you know, in like the really rural areas, you live to like 300. I want to know if these people are locals or if they're tourists though. Like, are you just a tourist soaking up the sun or is this your everyday? Because if it's your everyday, I can't even express how just No, like what? they look like they would probably live Imagine, in a very no. comfortable Yeah. Because I feel like the French start their day later, but then they have their like evenings later as well. So everything just is later, which I love. There's no sense of like urgency. There's a guy just laid there, just sleeping. Love. We did actually sleep really, really well at Airbnb. It's like a studio apartment, so it's like um, everything's in one room, but it's really well laid out. It's nice, there's just no windows. Luke's gonna be yeah. pretty polite because I booked it, but there is no windows. <laughs> we are lacking, <laughs> we are lacking in windows. However, it doesn't matter because it makes it really cozy. Like last night, we turned out all the lights, it was like pitch black. So we just fully KO'd. Um, yeah. It was really, really nice. And there we are, first coffee of the trip. Do espresso, s'il vous plaît. And then we're watching people run by, having a little morning commute <laughs> into Nice, as you do. This is the morning commute. This is the rush hour in South France. <laughs> Guys, I actually just kind of get over how beautiful it is here. Feels like we're in like a movie set. Two euros for an espresso. <laughs> Two euros for an espresso. Like, yes, please. The beach is getting so busy as well. Everyone's just doing their morning swims. Oh, we're just gonna walk up to this Isle of Nice sign because we are horrific tourists and it's an absolute essential. <laughs> Found the Isle of Nice sign. <laughs> oh my goodness, so this is like classed as Nice Old Town and this is actually a hotel. <gasps> Can you believe it? Absolutely stunning, honestly the heat. People are running in this heat, I don't know how. But yeah, they're fully going for it. So before breakfast, we decided to go for a swim. We're doing as the French do, and that was absolutely beautiful. The water is so, so clear, like you can literally put your hand in front of you and just see straight through the water. And the weather is stunning. We actually didn't bring any beach towels, so just using the towels in the Airbnb. Um, but we did pack swimwear because we knew the weather would be beautiful. So we've just dried off after our little dip in the sea and everywhere's getting ready for lunch service we're gonna see if we can get a little croissant or something something french of course for a late petit déjeuner <laughs> bring me back something french it's home alone and he's like bye because they go to france and they bring me back something french yeah, yeah. and yeah we're just gonna grab a little uh maybe another bottle of water actually yeah i'm really quite thirsty oh look antiques so we've stopped off at a little place oh called God. Mamma Mia, which sounds very Italian, <laughs> doesn't it? I know, it's a beautiful little place. It's in the, um, just off of the beach in the old town. We've ordered, uh, du, what's it called? Um, it's, it's essentially Le Réveille Le Le by Mamma Mia, which is the awakening, as Zara's just found out. Which you get a uh, juste de press, which is two orange juices, vinoiseries, so we've gone through poisson, and uh, two pisson short, which is two cappuccinos. 
My French is abysmal. I have no skill. Flora did it for five years I and is. You're getting there. You're getting there. It's gone. It's gone. It, it's gone. Oh. <laughs> this this is like my idea of us like heaven. Those croissants look sublime. And two lovely orange juices. Cappuccinos are on their way. Vive la France. Delightful. The butteriest, richest croissant. So this morning, right next to our Airbnb, there was a chocolatier called LAC, which is obviously my actual initials for Luke Archibald Catlow. And then I thought it was sugar, but this is chocolate. Let's give it a try. Oh my god, it is slightly melted, you're correct. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Très bien. There's a little market just outside where we had coffee. This is where we grabbed it. It was really, really nice in there. Quite reasonable as well. 750 for a uh, pastry coffee energy. Got loads of different spices and teas. All of the olive wood. We love olive wood. We absolutely, we thrive of it in our kitchen. The cooking ingredients and olive oils. This is amazing. Oh, there's a fruit stand over there as well. Our luggage is uh, <laughs> somewhat restricted. We've only got a cabin bag, so we need to be mindful of whatever we've got. Look at that garlic. <gasps> We could consume that. Oh my god, those tomatoes, are you joking me? They're huge. Nice. I love honeydew melon, watermelon. Look at all of these pastries and cannolis. Oh my gosh. Right, this is heaven. This is absolutely heaven. All the fromagerie. Oh my god. Right, lunch. If we don't find somewhere for lunch, which I'm sure we will, we can just get. Oh god, look at all the salads and pasta. We can just get a little to go and go and sit back on the beach. Oh my god, guys, I'm in heaven. This is wonderful. Look at the size of these cactuses. They're huge. It's so well priced as well, about 30 euros. Amazing. And the little olive tree. When we get somewhere, I would love an olive tree. Gorgeous, aren't they? Oh my god, lemon trees. Oh wow! Oh my god, it's just the best country for it. I feel like Nice is just like quintessentially French. It just feels so French. It feels like we're in the Lisbon of Portugal. Like it's just beautiful. Yeah, let's get some rosé. I mean, we can't come to the south of France and not get some kind of rosé. Naturally, stumbling into an ice cream shop because yes. Sorbet. Oh, amazing. Merci, au revoir. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Just, yeah, we can just sit. So I went for le citron and framboise, and Zara went for vanilla and um, summer fruits. Citron sorbet, like, it's just so thirst quenching. Oh my god, Lord. Something about like hot, hot, hot days. All I want is sorbet. We did look at the temperatures prior to arriving, and obviously it was going to be warm, but a sea breeze does definitely help. But the further in you go, it does get hotter, doesn't it? Just little English rose. No, no, SPF no. How's that? How's that? Is it? Let's try. Do you want to try some of my lemon? You're going to love it. It's like quite lemon. Oh my god, that's Oh, it's mm. so interesting. Okay, my mm. smoothie. Guys, Nice is absolutely stunning. Look at that. French architecture, man. They know what they're doing, don't they? This is such a cute little spot as well. So this is the store we've just bought. The coolest thing is I can't wait to show you guys. It's called Trésor Public. It's like an antique style, French, proper traditional. Um, shop of like homewares, it's honestly incredible. We've just bought the coolest tea towel and a little salad bowl. Even the bag's cool, isn't it? It's so cool. I feel like Nice really has this like beautiful old feel to it. The fact that there's original tiles still from 1895 just in the wall. Incredible. This is like a little wine shop with 400 different wines. Stunning. Our bottle is 20 euros. Sold. You are so unbelievably French right now, I love it. <laughs> We've just ordered <laughs> the most gorgeous bottle of um, Provence Rosé. It was recommended by the waiter. Look at the colour of that, it is ice cold. It almost looks white. It, it does. Like a poor white wine that we would use. Stunning. And there is the most beautiful, like, kind of like church behind. France looks good on you, sweetie. Thank you. I had to go and purchase a fan. You did. <laughs> So the tiles I just showed you was this place. Um, how beautiful are these? I feel like we're getting all of the interior inspiration while we're here. Oh, gorgeous, like the pop of color is so nice. And this is lunch, this is exactly what we had in mind. Lovely roasted tomatoes, peppers, spring onions, basil, eggs. 
this and rosé, this is heaven. So we just finished lunch, it was absolutely delicious, and then we finished with a little espresso. I usually try and limit my caffeine intake, but something about espresso is when you're in Europe, they just hit different. Maybe the caffeine I make at home is like super strong. God, I've got a lovely... Oh, I think there's like a need for it. Is that a sheen or sweat? I can't decide. Probably sweat. Really Thank you. So we've just found ourselves in a French tiger and they've got some lovely little striped, very French um, porcelain wear. These gorgeous little balls here. 350 and 5. And then Zara just bought this in the window. This is a little blueberry jug. How sweet is that with a little handle? We don't need any more jugs. We are, <laughs> we are literally drawing the line, but it's very cute. Seven euros. So we rude not to have a look in the uh, French shopping district when we're in Nice. First up, Zara home. We don't need anything. Repeat after me. We do not need anything. We can't get anything home related. So Zara's just spotted this. We have a thing about plates and walls, and we have one currently in our kitchen. And this is apparently how you say it. There's a mother. How do you say that? I don't know, do I? La pastille. Which you prefer? La poire. I prefer the pear. Yeah. Me too, I think the shape's nicer. La poire, la mastique. Or so la So you just sit adhere like some self-adhesive little things on the back and then it hangs on your wall. So we've came back to the beach, we've ordered some rosé and it's arriving. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is the light. Is it? This is the light. I think it is. <laughs> We wanted to get one of the little beach uh, deck chairs, but they are fully reserved today. Bastille Day is in full swing. Cheers to the good life, sweetie. Cheers. Could get used to this. My God, this is stunning. Second bottle of rosé has been ordered. I feel no regret. Well, I don't feel like it's going to get to the end of the second. We're going to be like, I'm first. ready for the first. Sorry, isn't it? <laughs> now in a bikini. Get into a bikini. It's very warm. It's like 35 degrees. This is the life. Down here, we're two glasses of water in a big bottle. We are hydrating as we drink. We are staying hydrated. That is essential. Good evening. The worst part is, it hasn't been that long. Really? No. So, get that the last clip you saw, we were saying that we ordered a bottle of water to stay hydrated to ensure that we didn't get too tipsy. Gee. The, the polar opposite happened, and Bozara and I got slightly tipsier than we imagined. I think it's the heat. Bearing in mind, bearing in mind, for lunch, we shared a salad, which is two words that we should never do before consuming two bottles of rosé. Share salad. and salad. And um, yeah, we both got a little bit, a little bit more tipsy than we intended. So we went and had a little bit of a lie by the beach. And like rekindled our thoughts, rekindled ourselves. Came back, got ready, and now we're ready. We're revitalized. Are we? <laughs> I had a bit of a nap. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's currently like half past eight. Ten past nine. It's ten past nine in the evening, but because it's Bastille Day, everything's getting a little bit lively as the evening goes on. So it looks amazing. I've got a little brown number. This is a little unicorn shirt I picked up. Hi. We both just looked at each other and went, are you drunk? I was like, yeah, I'm drunk. I got in the sea and it wasn't enjoyable. <laughs> But I feel it was fine the now. motion sickness, I think, Yeah, didn't help. I feel fine now. So we're gonna go okay. and have our first evening in Nice because thanks to Wizz Air, we were delivered last night, so that would have been our first evening. This is our second. There's nothing whizzy about Wizz Air. Mm. The same way, the same way. There's nothing easy about EasyJet. Mm -mm. And whoever Ryan is, he doesn't deserve an airline. Ryan needs to right, get in the bin. Your water in the fridge. What are you fancy for dinner? Pasta, but I fancy pasta every day. It's a very calm, mellow evening in uh, in Nice. So we're ripping. <laughs> no, we will be doing no ripping. I thought, look at you. Look how amazing you look. Look at that. This is a vintage dress. Yeah, go on, girl. Love a bit of vintage. Lovely. We're heading towards Nice Old Town tonight. So um, yeah, dinner's going to be a very chill and calm, calm affair. Look at the sun. You need just to stop saying down. it because I feel like when we say it, it goes wrong. For me, it's the, it's the, oh, we're having some water to try and counteract the rosé. Q 30 minutes later. I feel like it fueled the rosé. It yeah, almost it like agrees. spurred it on. Do you know what it was? It was whatever music they were playing that just really got in our system. We're like, yeah, let's go. Cool. I always Look. say this when I go out and have a drink. Like, if you've got good music, I can guarantee you I'm going to get drunker. It's true. It's not big and it's not clever, but it happened. And we're young, it's fine. Come on, vive la France. We should be in red, white, or blue. Or green. Vive la Italy. Italia. <laughs> I know, I just went, we're giving it to 
Look at the sunset. Oh my goodness, this is literally beautiful. Time is currently 25 past 9 in the evening. I mean, we usually be getting ready for bed this time in London, but we're heading off for dinner. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. So we came out for dinner this evening. Look at the size of my prawns. They are huge. So, oh my god, it looks fantastic. This is the restaurant. It's called Le Clan Balcon. And it's in the um, old Nice district. It's absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So it is Saturday today and we rested so well last night. I think after dinner we both just like crashed. It's really quite like a full on day. Um, so this morning, woke up, showered, dressed, ready to go and we we're going... So we did. Quickly. We literally got ready in like under an hour, fully dressed, sun creamed up. Oh my god, there's a golden tree though. Oh, and we are heading to Monaco this morning and um, the train takes about half an hour so it's literally from Nice to Monaco direct and yeah we're gonna go and spend the day in Monaco how bougie is that? I'm just walking towards the Nice train station and I just saw this little well little <laughs> classic basilique <laughs> this little thing just planked in the middle of a, a road how incredible is that? it's absolutely beautiful we've arrived at the Nice train station so we're gonna head on in and buy our tickets to Monaco oh, look it's Maggie Getting the vibe that Monaco is very bougie. I mean, I knew this before, but everyone just is so well dressed. I'm just walk past the Ferrari garage as you do. I feel like we're in like as Zara's just said, like the Mayfair of um, the Mayfair of France. So we're just walking through the gardens towards Casino Square. I've already seen people with Hermes Birkin bags, Ferragamo bags, belts. And that's only when he looks at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honey, no one would ever know your long chumps from Vinted. <laughs> oh my god, I've never felt so bougie in my life. This is insane. Look at how well kept everything is. It's so peaceful. Hear the birds tweeting. It's a far cry from the sirens of southwest London. <laughs> Suddenly New Bond Street just doesn't look half as fancy as here. Look at the guys stood outside of Cartier. <gasps> oh my god, this is wild. It's Celine Louis Vuitton. Oh my god. Okay, this is crazy. So I could be wrong, but I think this is the Hotel Hermitage. This is where you and stays. I could definitely be wrong. But I, the name rings the bell. I'm pretty sure it is. With a uh, Rolls Royce parked outside as you do. That's his now. Ewan, is that yours? <laughs> Stumbled into a Zara and Zara's trying on heels. <laughs> it kind of goes with your dress, I'm not going to lie. Imagine. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking them. Okay, Zara, put the shoes back. Made a very sensible decision, I feel like. They were very nice, just slightly pink. Anyway, we're gonna head to Casino Square now and um, look at all of the all of the fancy places to win lots and lots of money. So this is possibly one of the most beautiful hotels I think I've ever seen in my life. So that's Cafe de Paris on the right. And then this is the Le Louis. I wouldn't even want to butcher that. Louis the t is V's 10, right? No. X is 10, I'm not sure. The 15th, Louis the 15th, could definitely be wrong. That is stunning. Oh my gosh, look at the cars that are parked outside. Oh my dears. Okay, the wealth is here. <laughs> Something tells me that we're gonna come back to the south of France, because this is just, it doesn't even feel real life. This is some kind of like, I say in a casino, but it looks like it's like a department store or something, so we're gonna try and get in here. Um, but just seeing the cars that are pulling up over here, it's like Rolls-Royce, Ferrari, Mercedes, very, very special. So we are inside one of the main casinos. I think it's probably the most touristy one, but look how incredible this is. I feel like I need to zoom out so you guys can see. It's in, it just is huge. It's like a giant place you can uh, play human size roulette. This is amazing. It's so opulent. can now see the harbours and all of the yachts. Honestly, guys, this is just, it feels like a different world. Everyone's just having their breakfast or lunch up on here. Look how cool these cars are. Oh my God, you must be able to hire them. I genuinely don't think I've ever seen so many private yachts in my life. <laughs> this is incredible. It's just quite calm and as well, it is very busy, but it's 
calm in like a strange way. Because when you're surrounded by yachts in the water, you can't really be stressed, can you? Monaco is famous for its racing. I think that's why everyone has such a passion for cars. <laughs> so we're gonna walk along the um, pier front now towards Monaco City. And uh, yeah, get the steps in, maybe grab a drink on route, because it is hot today. Wow, that looks so cool, doesn't it? So we just saw these little tops of the umbrellas. Like, oh my gosh, maybe it's somewhere to sit. No, this is uh, connected to a hotel. As you do, a swimming pool right in the heart of Monaco. That's incredible. I love that. So we've just left the Monte Carlo part of Monaco, and um, we're now heading up towards like the cathedral, like the main city square, essentially. But uh, yeah, look how amazing this is. Views are stunning. The clouds are just starting to part up top as well. It's 35 degrees, so it's hot and climbing all of these stairs. It was interesting in the heat, but we're getting there. It was worth the climb. <laughs> We are both slightly perspirating, but this is, I think, one of the palaces in Monaco. I've just looked at my Google Maps and it says, Ma Place du Palais, I think that's how you say it. And um, the guard outside with the cannons. Amazing here. Very, very busy. It's incredible. Those views are nothing short of spectacular. It's absolutely insane. Look at the hills, it just goes on and on and on. You can see the yachts down there, all docked up. Wow. We just took some photos overlooking the view. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. And because we're up at a height, we're getting a little bit more of a breeze, which is really lovely. We have got like the best worst sheen yeah. to us right now. It's like a, it's a South of France glow combined with perspiration. Honestly, the sweat is a paid prop. Yeah, yeah it's, it's there, the back, the neck, the shoulders, it's, yeah, and this is a linen. I'm trying, I try to dress somewhat smart, so did Zara, because if we do go in somewhere that's slightly fancier, you know, they do have dress codes, so. Yeah, best believe if we were anywhere else, we'd be in like, like vests shorts. and shorts, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Lunch is served, we're learning from our mistakes yesterday and having something a little bit more substantial. So we were gonna share this, but Zara's gone for some pasta and I've got some bread. We're laying off the wine, because in this heat, it just goes straight to our head, so yeah. How much cheese? I've done three. Do it, do it. This is such a beautiful restaurant. I'll grab the name of it, it looks gorgeous. Really reasonably priced as well. Lord, Look at how good that looks. Oh my god. Heaven. Guys, Monaco is absolutely stunning. We just finished up lunch and just turned the corner and literally just submerged in a beautiful little square. How gorgeous is this? We have absolutely no idea where we're going, so we're just going to wander and see what we find. Well, that's certainly a more convenient way to get around Monaco in this little train. What a fantastic idea. It's so cool. I love that. Fantastic. We'll do a little tour of the hills. So this is the Museum Ocean Monaco. So it's the ocean graphic. I honestly everything in France is stunning. Like the architecture is absolutely incredible. We just found out this is 23 euros for a day pass, so a little bit on the pricier side. I think we'll just do the walk instead. So we're just walking through the um, cathedral gardens now. I just can't believe that literally like, that's the sea right there. Oh, gorgeous. The humidity is dense. Humidity. The humidity is humidity, yeah. But um, really, really lovely. Gosh, that's a cathedral and a half, isn't it? I've always said the Italians do basilicas very well, but the French really, really do churches and cathedrals very well. It's stunning. So we are now walking back to well, essentially where all of the <laughs> lovely yachts are. We're going to uh, take a tip from Ewan, who comes a lot, and he said that you can get the water shuttle taxi, which essentially takes you from um, Monaco, like the city part, to Monte Carlo, so it's going to happen to walk, because it's now, I think, I'm not going to lie, I think it's like pushing 40 degrees. Yeah. Like, it's it's spicy, so I'm... Um, My scalp is up to there. Yeah, so I was reapplying SPF, like, no tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hop on the taxi, hopefully. I think it's like three euros one way, so we'll get back into Monte Carlo and we're gonna get changed and hopefully get a nice little cocktail in one of the fancy hotels. I don't think I've ever seen a busier boat park, a like car park, parking lot, boating oh, lot. <laughs> Gosh, so many. I mean, they are absolutely incredible, aren't they? It's just literally tons and tons of yachts. I'll take that lovely French red one right there. Well, it's just because we're in France, isn't it? Well, these would have come from all over. No, I know, but it, it just looks French red. Like, it's like a bistro red or like what we saw yesterday with the bricks. Do you know what I don't like? What? Is how Henley on Thames, mm. they're all named. Like, we saw yeah. Maggie. No, no, Maggie. This, this has names. No, no. I think it's the brand. Because oh. up there, Jean is named about three times. Jean. Uh, Jean. Mm. Jean Paul. Jean. 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 <laughs> 
Rice. This is probably the only version of the boat we're actually going to get on in Monaco. The one we wish we were getting on is there. One day, Zara. Anyway, this is a couple of euros just to take us over back to Monte Carlo. So at least we're going to be on the water somewhat. Okay, so we are back in Monte Carlo and we are going to try and dabble a drink in a Café de Paris, which, I mean, <laughs> Who knows if there's going to be a table available, but I've had a quick outfit change. Got some trousers, ours and our heels. So they do ask you for a dress code to dress your best, which we are happy to adhere to, even in 35 degrees. Yeah, this is everything we love. Yeah, like, it is. It's just to feel good, isn't it? to get dressed up. And we haven't made any purchases today. Purchases, is it? Purchases today. Um, I put those shoes back so I can get mm, a drink. That's it. Prioritising martinis over Manolos. So we came into Bar American and we've got a gin basil smash and Zara's gone for a glass of rosé. You've not learned after yesterday's... No, but I feel great. You were fantastic. I, I was... I no. I was the one who was struggling. Anyway, this looks absolutely gorgeous. It's slightly more on the pricier side for drinks, but as we said, we haven't made any purchases yet. So we're just sitting and enjoying the views of Monte Carlo. What an absolute joy this is. Salut. Happy belated birthday to me. Absolutely not. Mmm. It's gingery. We are finishing off our little drinks with a latte macchiato. I don't even want to know how much these were. <laughs> but caffeine with a beautiful view. There is nothing finer. Well, that was absolutely wonderful. We are going to depart Monaco now. A beautiful, beautiful day could easily spend, we've just been looking at, uh, well, <laughs> spending a week in the south of France and been very humbled about the price, but it's, it's doable, it's just slightly more expensive, yeah, slightly more expensive, expensive than what we have spent on previous holidays, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a nice little walk back to the train station and it's half an hour back to Nice. So we are back in Nice. That train journey was so quick from Monaco. We literally just swung by our apartment, briefly got changed, and we are now heading to the beach to have a nice little afternoon evening swim just to cool down. I feel like the heat is definitely heated up today. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna just have a nice little relaxing afternoon before we go back and shower for dinner this evening. Golden hour has hit in Nice this evening and we're just heading off to dinner. We haven't got anywhere reserved. Come here and Sarah looks in her dress. It's a lovely little watercolour number. Very, very nice. I've gone for a little white shirt number, some high waisted trousers, and then, yeah, we haven't got anything planned for dinner. What do you fancy? I am like in the mood to eat anything everything. and everything. I'm yeah. so hungry. I'd quite like some fish. Some fish would be nice. I had fish last night, I had prawns, but we'll see. It was I really nice. Mm. Have a look. So we're out for dinner this evening, and we've gone for an Aperol because why not? We're at this restaurant called. Restaurant Janine, I think it is, and we're gonna order some lovely pasta and pizza because seemingly everyone orders Italian in Nice. So good. Dinner is served. How gorgeous is this look? Zara's pizza looks phenomenal. Not at all. This looks so good. We've just finished up dinner and now we're having a little wander around the markets on an evening. This is so gorgeous. That type of music I love, that type of like old school jazz, it's amazing. Oh, I just love it here. South of France, you've stolen my heart. I feel like, honestly, France doesn't go to sleep. So what time are we on now? It is currently, any of you guys can say, it's 10 o'clock at night and it's still so, so busy. All of the market traders are kind of still here, chilling. It's awesome. I just got a new signet ring. I really like to purchase jewelry whenever we come away on holiday. I've got so much from Italy from our trips and it's got a nice new signet ring. I love it. Oh my God, the sheens are, I am sweating. We are rounding off the evening with a little Italian gelato, again in France. <laughs> I've gone for a tiramisu ice cream. What's wrong with me? I mean, I do like French food. There's something about Italian gelato. Delicious. And it was from a nice little independent shop, literally just on the way to the beach. We walked past a Hagen dazs but how's yours? So good. You have to try it. Oh, God. Guys, it is sexy. Look at the sheen on my arm. I don't know if you can tell. Like, it's so hot. Nice. But hot.
you know, Zara and I were just talking about like the French way of lifestyle, like the Italian French, like, Mediterranean lifestyle, let's just say that, and how the concept is just so much more slower and more relaxed. You know, you wake up, we literally just had a quick shower, and there's all things that we can do in London, but it just doesn't have the same effect. Like, it doesn't have the same, like, je ne sais quoi, as they would say. Like, it just doesn't feel the same. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the sun. The fact that we can, like, meander along like this tomorrow, when I got on the tube. <laughs> you literally, like, like push. you're thrown into it. It's like this no. head first, like, you step out of our flat. And it's like even more. Siren, walking, siren, yeah, yeah. siren. Buses are going past, it's just like constant loud noise. Like here it's just such a slow pace of life. Like we've just got two little chocolate croissants, an espresso, orange juice, like 13 euros. Really lovely server, like no no drama, no nothing. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna go back now. I reason I've never showed you the Airbnb, I'll give you a little I'll give you a whistle stop too. And then we're gonna pack up our bags and go and pop them in a little luggage store because we're not flying tonight till much later on. So, um, yeah, we don't want to have our bags on the beach, essentially. A lot of um, Nice is closed. Obviously, it's a Sunday. I was waiting for you to say the day. Dimanche! Dimanche! So before we were coming to France, I was practicing my days of the week. Um, yeah, and Dimanche is the resting day, so a lot of places are closed. There's a really lovely um, patisserie that we were going to check out this morning here, but um, yeah, it's closed, which is fine. Yeah, we managed to find somewhere. This is it, there's our little our little Airbnb. It's super close to the beachfront. And we're on the ground floor, so it's just in here. Very French. Okay, this is our little apartment. We've literally just packed our bags. <laughs> Stop it is a den. calling it a den. It's Zara's calling it a den because it has a window. It does have a window, so it's not fully a den. However, it's, it's the only thing that doesn't make it a shed. <laughs> it's an underground apartment, so we're kinda like sub one level however it's really practical because everything is into you've got a full kitchenette bathroom at the end with like a nice little walk-in shower it's really smart and um, we've just give everything a little clean empty the bins just like a little kitchen area fully equipped kitchen you even got little pots and pans and stuff up here if you want to I feel like it's definitely you couldn't stay for much longer than a weekend yeah it's but no it's, it's been spot on we've got a little bed we've had the music on we've been getting ready full length mirror like they've used the space really well there's little bits of wardrobe behind. You've got all like your, you know, court hanging things in there, ironing boards, all your practicalities. Air conditioning has been so useful. And then the stairs up to the little bed. I might as well show you it. So this is the bed. limited headroom, something to note. <laughs> We've just pulled back the sheets and uh, yeah, checked everything. But yeah, it's honestly, I've slept so well. That air conditioner has been a godsend, but yeah, really, really nice. And literally just head out the front door and you're at the beach in about a five minute walk. Nice is so multifunctional. So where we had dinner last night, it's literally right here under these striped canopies. And now the market is back and everyone is buying all of their fresh produce. They've got all of their nuts and vegetables and fruit. Zara really wants to get one of these little uh, French tote bags, which are just so cute. They've got a little Monaco and Nice vibe on them. But yeah, it's so nice. All of the locals are grabbing their little bits and bobs for their Sunday meals. We are fully making use of each second, of each minute, of each hour in this sun because I don't want to go home. I think this is the joy about like the south of France. Essentially, you're on the coastline. You've just got the beach at your disposal, but you've also got like all of that behind you as well. So you've got all of like the food stalls, the restaurants, the bars. You don't have to pick. No, not at all. You can literally just hop in, have a little cool down in the sea. Pop out, you can do the beach clubs, just avoid the rosé. <laughs> Can we please explain my hat situation? Oh, yeah. Showing it with no Sorry, hat. Zara's. Um, this is not a chosen look. Well, no, I think you're rocking it. Like, it's, very, it's very south of France. Zara um, is quite fair. And, uh, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, she she has a tendency to burn her scalp. So she's got SPF on her scalp as well as a little headscarf just so she doesn't burn. So that's what that is. Although you did see a beautiful hat in Monaco yesterday. No, actually, it's maybe I need to check. You know how much I love vintage. Oh, I yeah. need to check vintage. Yeah, it was like a huge, um, like a really oversized. It was literally like a pretty woman hat. Um, it was just stunning, it was so nice, but it was 50 euros and the size of it would have been slightly tricky to get home. And I've had to bend it in half. Yeah, which would have misshapen it slightly, it would have just killed the vibe, but um, yeah, there we are. Right, we've escaped the sun, there's actually severe weather warnings today about it being that hot and we're feeling it, so we've came out of the sea and we're having a little niçoise salad with some um, potatoes on the side, and so I've just gotten for a regular salad. 
My first French dish of the trip. <laughs> so we're just having a little wonder. We finished up lunch in Galleries Lafayette, which is like a department store. It's very expensive. <laughs> but they've got a sale on homeware, so we're having a little look and seeing if we've got any new bits to add to our little kitchen decor. Oh, see, I love those. Buisson. Oh my god, yeah, this is our little purchase. It's in the sale, 50% off. Oh, we've got the oh, look, they've got again. these. Every time I see these, I love. <laughs> They're so cool. I swear, European homeware is just so nice. <laughs> like, why can't we have this back in England? We have limited bag space, so we've got to be very sensible. I love these glasses and tumblers. They're so nice. They're like eight euros a piece. We are finishing up our last little sweet treat in these. I've gone with some coffee ice cream. What did you get for Mario? Mario. There we are. Um, we are going to catch a flight in about two, uh, two and three hours. Uh, hopefully back to Gatwick with minimal disruption. It's been the most amazing trip. I think we've just developed a new love for the south of France. So everything we've visited, I'll link down below. And keep an eye out for a little haul as well because we've got some lovely little bits here too. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna look really, really nice. Yeah, we're gonna finish our little ice cream. It's melting as I speak, so I need to wrap this up. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the best birthday present ever. You're so welcome. I'll catch you all very soon in the future video. Bye for now. <laughs>